Hi again everyone, Dave from Summit Racing and back in the Summit Racing retail store in Ohio. And today I have with us Jim from Ultimate Headers and Jim's been here working with our, our sales and tech teams, uh, kind of showing off some of their, uh, their product here and there's a lot to show. Uh, Jim, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. Uh, I guess first off, just kind of tell us about the company itself. Well, Ultimate Headers, <coughs> excuse me, Ultimate Headers is a uh, small family business. Uh, it was started about five years ago by my father, Jim Browning Sr. Um, we've got some exhaust uh, background with a, another company that we had uh, run for nearly 20 years. And um, we've, Jim saw a need for an upgraded header for the LS sweat market. So it was a dot desire that he had before and now I uh, was able to bring it all uh, bring it all to the to the product or to the market pro. So, you know, I know there's a lot of different, you know, really cutting edge things you guys have done here uh, from the material to, to the, the bends, the elbows and uh, some of the clamps and the flanges. I guess we'll you know, start off with the headers. Uh, Tell us a little bit about those. I know you have a lot of different applications. You have a lot of different styles, and you have a lot of different finishes. So kind of give us an uh, overview. So I guess start maybe with the material you use. So we went with a 321 stainless steel. 321 is an alloy that, frankly, a lot of people don't even know about. But it's 50% uh, stronger than 304 at operating temperature. So at 1,000 degrees, this is much stronger material than 304, which builds, you know, we use it because it makes a much more robust header under heavy heavy use. So this, for example, is our, our LS swap header. Okay. This is for the guy that's stuck maybe an LS7, a 500 horsepower LS7 in a first generation Camaro. Sure. So he's probably out using it as a pro touring car, doing some autocross or, you know, maybe drag racing. So it's a pretty robust piece for those guys that are going to put it through its paces. Gotcha. Now, looking at those, those elbows, uh, the bends on there, they're pretty tight. Tell us about what you guys do there. That's, that's pretty cutting edge as well. So, so part of our thought in making a, a header that's different from everybody else, we're going to start and go back just a step with our, our investment cast flanges. Okay, sure. So these flanges are all a stainless steel investment casting. Mm -hmm. This is lighter than your 3 8 typical plate, but yet stronger with this ribbing. So, and then it adds style and something that you don't normally see. Now the elbow that we talked about, this is a cast elbow. This gives you a very tight radius. This helps in getting the header to fit well in tight engine compartments, clearing the steering shaft. And it's got a very smooth finish on the inside. So our welding procedure and metal finishing gives it a really nice flow you know, through the you know through the whole header. And that's really a patented design on that flange, too, that, correct? That this flange is patented, and in the each and every flange design that we falls under our patent. So sure. this is our LS flange. We brought along the new Gen 5 LS or the LT1, LT4. So this is for the new Gen 5 engines. We also have flanges for the Ford Coyote. We build a Ford Coyote swap header. So there's individual ones, and then some that are paired. So in the Ford Coyote, this is, uh, you know, an individual piece. And then one more I brought, that I brought along with me today is a Ford Windsor. Uh, okay. There's some cylinder heads that offer a three inch wide bolt spacing, so you can offer inch and seven eighths for the higher uh, horsepower engines out of those, those Ford Windsor engines. So that's, uh, and again, with our cast elbow and, and whatnot. Yeah, so you're running a gamut from the more traditional old school engines to, to the cutting edge the newer stuff new the stuff LT today Gen 5 and yep. Coyote. Mm -hmm. uh, going back I guess a little bit to the to the elbows here there really is a performance advantage and I know that you guys do independent testing on those but talk a little bit about that yep so this is a we talked about Mustangs and early Mustangs a pretty popular car for guys that are maybe restoring them adding a little more, more power or using in a pro touring fashion so this is a Five, one and five eighths diameter header, but it you see the way that the primary has got to come into the flange for a tight fit in an early Mustang to clear the stock um, shock towers. So pretty tight, doesn't flow well. Now with our design, we're able to take that same header or same application, we use our cast elbow. Now this is inch and seven eighths, bigger size, more flow, more power. 
we've seen up to a 20 horsepower difference between this design and then our design with the cast elbow and inch and seven eighths tubing. It still fit within those frame uh, shock towers on an early Mustang. Sure, yeah, no, no, no pounding necessary to get it to fit. No, and we, we, no hammers allowed when you install a set of our headers. And, and the walls on this, I mean, the way you guys do this, you're not really sacrificing anything material-wise. No, not at all, because, you know, with the casting, you're able to have a uh, uniform wall thickness. It's, you know, when, when you do mandrel bending, you know, the outer wall gets a little thinner, so right where you want the heat, or where all the heat's at, is in this bend. You know, we got the proper wall thickness, so no, no problems with the headers at that point either. So this is really a, a problem solver with clearance, and you have another problem solver here with these clamps that yep. allow you to sort of uh, maneuver and adjust the angles. So tell us about that. So we've got a unique exhaust clamp, and this is our two and a half and, and a three inch here, but this will give you uh, low, you know, for ground clearance, it's a very low profile, and we call it our extreme low profile clamp. This is a cast piece here, but it gives you 13 degrees of articulation. You can manipulate it to get, you know, the tubes to fit where you need. Because okay. we all know when you're building an exhaust system and doing some welding, things move around. Well, this, this helps take that uh, offset or misalignment and, and fixes that misalignment issue. So we use stainless, again, stainless tubing. This is an investment cast center section that's CNC machined to match the flare of the tube. You put them together, and then there is how you see the, you know, the articulation or the adjustability of this clamp. So they will both adjust on both sides. And then you can simply put the clamp around it, tighten the nut and bolt, and it stays fixed and for a, a perfect uh, fit and no leaks. Great. Again, another problem solver there. Um, and of course, you know, between the headers and, and, the, uh, and the flanges and, and and the clamps, uh, you're getting a lot of versatility with these products. Mm -hmm. And like we said before, uh, you're able to open up a little bit more performance from this too. Yep. Uh, real quick, now going back to the headers, give us a, a kind of an overview of the, the material or the uh, finishes that you guys have available. So I think we're one of maybe very few that offer five different finishes. We'll start up here with our mill finish. Sure. This is kind of your, your entry level finish. There's not any cosmetic enhancements done to it, but still a good looking header. Then we kind of go over here to our satin finish. And when we jump up to the different finishes, we polish the flanges to a mirror finish. And then these get a brushed or machine type finish to them. Then we have, just like the full display, a full mirror polish. So this is, this is really the eye candy. That catches the light, makes it shine. Um, it's, it's a, a very popular option. And then we have a black ceramic coating. That's a, another popular finish. Again, the polished flange with the black primaries makes the flange really pop. And we do that also in a silver ceramic with the polished flanges. Okay. Yeah, certainly a lot of options uh, from Ultimate Headers. Lots of different applications, designs, as we said, and finishes, and a lot of innovation put into this make sure it fits right for you, uh, you know, really easily without, you know, having to, as you said, bring out that hammer. <laughs> That's and right. Things, uh, force things to fit. So, again, uh, more performance, great looking product, and uh, lots of different applications. And you can find all of those applications and products from Ultimate Headers at SummitRacing.com. Jim, thanks again for your time. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it.